Shepard use his experience, beat him up, get in the pocket, and look like Lintz. All right, just about ready to go with our first prelim here live on ESPN. Here's your tale. The tape, Scott Holtzman, 35. Nick Lentz, one year his junior. Holtzman, the taller man by one inch. Both fighters successfully made weight. Scott Hot Sauce Holtzman will have a one-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Talking Stick Resort Arena in Phoenix, Arizona for UFC Fight Night, Engano versus Velasquez. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record, 29 wins, nine losses, two draws, one no contest. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Nick the Cardi Lance. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record. 12 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Knoxville, Tennessee, Scott Hudson Holtz. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Jason Herzog. One of the finest in the business, Jason Herzog, our third man in the octagon for this one. There is the MMA Lab product, Scott Holtzman, trains not far from here in Phoenix. Still fights oh, out of ready? Knoxville, Tennessee. Hey. And he is coming off far and away the best performance of his UFC run, a finish of Alon Patrick back at UFC 229 in October. Scott Holtzman is in white pressing forward. Nick Lentz out of the Southpaw stance in black. Well, Holtzman gets to train with Benson Henderson at, uh, at the lab in Glendale, so he's got a southpaw he gets to work with who's really crafty um, in Ben Henderson. So, you know, at least he's seen that stance, and we'll see if Lentz can bring the can get in the pocket the way he wants to. But right now, fighting backwards, we usually see Lentz come forward, but he's real slick, and he's got a very good left hand. Nice right counter hand. right from Scott Holtzman. Excuse me, right hand by Lentz, because he's a southpaw. Keep a look at the stance, ladies and gentlemen. And watch the left hand of Lentz as well when he switches. In September, it'll be 10 years on this UFC roster for Nick Lentz, already a 13-time UFC winner. Right now, what you're seeing Lentz do is he's trying to pull Holzman into his left hand. He's circling towards the power, and Holzman making a good read, throwing that right high kick. Good left hand. That's the left hand that Lentz lands so much on people. He reads it really well. And here we see he's got Holtzman on his heels and he's pressuring. A couple nice lands there from Nick Lentz. The right hand, the knee, and now he goes high with the kick. And he faked the right hand and went with the kick. That was slick by Lentz. Nick Lentz, Division I wrestler at the University of Minnesota, but the striking has really started to catch up to the wrestling and the grappling. Trains under Henry Hooft at the Combat Club in South Florida. Lentz has been landing that left hand over and over. Keep a look for it, because if he's landing it this early in the fight, that means he has his range and his timing on it. Both guys loading up here two minutes in. And hot sauce, I mean, he, look how he's just sturdy right in front of you. He doesn't take a step back, and he knows how powerful he is. He counts on his power, and he is right now. Boom, double right hand by Holtzman. Holtzman attacks the body. Lentz with an underhook looking for a takedown. I mean, look how strong Holtzman looks in the clinch. I mean, the second Lentz digs an underhook, he's just able to move him where he wants. You're not really moving Holtzman at all. And Lentz making a good read to go down to the legs here. Holtzman's first martial art was jujitsu after his semi-pro hockey career came to an abrupt end. Started jujitsu really without any intent of fighting. Now three straight wins here in the UFC. <laughs> Lentz stays committed to the takedown, gets Holtzman down, but Scott hot sauce Holtzman right back to his feet. And realistically, all this does is break up the rhythm of Holtzman, doesn't let him do what he wants, and it lets Lentz get some momentum, get a takedown here and there where he's comfortable, hang on Holtzman a little, 
because this is how Lentz builds up points, builds up momentum, gets the man tired, and then he starts edging him out in the striking. All he's doing is hanging on Holtzman right now, trying to make him less strong. Lentz has his hands clasped, still unable to get Holtzman down here. I mean, right here, those little tricks that you're seeing Lentz do, the, the way that he sweeps that ankle, the way that he goes back to the opposite hip, he's trying to separate Holtzman from the fence here. You know, this is the style fight that we're seeing a lot of guys say that Cain Velasquez and Ngannou has to have. However, you know, this is the, what, the way that these two, you expect to see it. It's a grappler just hanging and hanging, trying to take down the person against the fence and wear him out. Lentz unofficially one for three, now two for three, excuse me, on his takedowns thus far. Hasn't been able to do anything with those takedowns, but again, it's a war of attrition. So far, so good. Yeah, this is a marathon, not a race, Anik. And right now we're seeing Lentz try to work the marathon instead of sprint it out. And he's doing it. I mean, you take this is what you do to a strong man. You, you try to take some of that strength away early so that you kind of even out the odds as the fight goes on. You make them a little bit tired. You make them use technique. Make them use all their strength instead of technique. And that's what we're seeing here. Lentz is being a little bit more technical with the trips, going behind him, staying where he's at. It keeps the power away from Holtzman. Now he's throwing in the hook. It's just pure technique here by Lentz. See so how he's hooking that ankle? That keeps Holtzman from being able to get his leg up. And you see he's got to lift the weight of Lentz over and over. He's just hanging on him. I mean, it's not super tiring, but it's tiring enough. And it's annoying. It looks tiring to me, bro. It's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> right now, Holtzman's like, gosh, get off me. And you can't give the, your back like this against the fence. If you give your back like this against the fence, you can keep it and keep it. This is where you see Nurmagomedov just smashing people over and over from this position. And that's because... Holtzman needs to get that left elbow in between himself and Lentz and get it towards the fence, and he's not doing so. So Nick Lentz dominating Holtzman up against the fence. Round two coming up. Coach, you yell at me if you don't need me. Go, go, go. Hey, fill up that belly. Come on now. Good. Hey, Scotty. Let's get those feet moving. Sharp behind that left hand. When that left hand lands, he kind of duckers. Your switch high kick is there. There, my man. Hey. If you have to keep him like that, behind his ass, five minutes. Focus. Well, the UFC's first event in Prague goes down next Saturday on ESPN Plus in the main event. Light heavyweight powerhouses go head to head. Poland, John Blachowicz faces Brazil's Thiago Maheta Santos. Prelims get going on ESPN2 at 11 a.m. Eastern, followed by the main card on ESPN Plus at 2 p.m. Eastern. Start your free trial today. All right, round two here. Scott Holtzman in white looking to make some adjustments. Nick Lentz is in black. And that's sustained effort out of Nick Lentz in round one, in some part because he's competing at his more natural weight of 155 pounds. He went four and two as a featherweight before moving up. That was a Holtzman left inside, right inside kick versus a left high kick of Lentz. He just kicked out the leg that he was standing on to throw the high kick. The Holtzman pressuring early. I mean, that's a slick counter that Lentz is throwing there, guys. That right high kick off the right hand of Holtzman. That's high level MMA. He's just timing it well. Holtzman with a nice shot to the body. Yes, and now beautiful. Knee. Left uppercut to a left knee. Very nice by Holtzman. And right now, this is what Holtzman needs to do. Keep Lentz on the outside. Oh, He's stuck straight right there. That's when your eyes start tearing up. He's hurt right now. Lentz is hurt. And Holtzman, he needs to keep the pressure, keep boxing him in. You see how he's leading the leg of, of, of Lentz. He's beating the lead leg of Lentz and continually edging him out. And now we're seeing Lentz come forward as he's not winning, moving backwards. Holtzman doesn't seem to fear the power coming back from Nick Lentz. Nearly everything Holtzman has thrown tonight has been with a fight-ending intention. Always is, Anik. Always is. 
Nice job pointing the toes there to the midsection by Holtzman. About 90 seconds gone by round two. Another stiff right hand for Holtzman. Good boxing by both these gentlemen. They're both sitting down trying to knock each other out right now. Don't think that somebody's not going to get dropped in this <laughs> fight. I promise. They're sitting down heavy, and these guys are letting it all hang out right now. Painful shots landing on each other. Oof. Right hand straight through the guard of Lentz. I mean, you see Lentz eat that, but you just don't understand. That hurts. <laughs> Doesn't look pleasant, man. I mean, it just he eats it like nothing. These guys keep coming forward. It's impressive watching how tough these guys can be. Lentz with a little touch there behind the ear of Holtzman. Now the straight left hand. And Holtzman's made the adjustment to that left high kick now. He's seeing it coming. Lentz needs to switch it up, maybe come with the right hook, follow, follow up his left hand with a right hook instead of a kick. He might get a little bit more out of it. Switch up the look. Same looking finish, but it finishes different. Lentz turned pro all the way back in 2005. He has proven to be a very hard guy to put away. Over 21 UFC fights coming in. Lentz just missed on the right-hand counter there. Both these guys are very evenly matched. I mean, something that I love about both these guys is they'll, throw, they'll each throw a punch. Ooh, beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. They'll each throw a punch, and the other one never just eats it and looks at him. They always counter back. Not a bad entry by Nick Lentz here. Now you see that right underhook he has. Now he's gonna look to go to the legs and get underneath that left arm of Holtzman here. You see how he hooks the leg? He wants to get the right arm of Lentz. He wants to duck underneath that elbow of Holtzman and get behind his back again where he was in that last round. That's why he hooks that ankle. He'll hook it out and try to get him to let go of the wizard if he trips. Here we go. Now he's on a front headlock and he'll threaten to the, to the hips and try to get behind the arms. Ooh, he's going for the guillotine here. And that's in because of the guard is locked. That's not what Holtzman wants. With the guard locked, now Holtzman needs to push the knees down and work on the hands. He needs to push the knees down of Lentz if he's going to get out of this. Because that choke is not the problem. It's the legs of Lentz that are the problem. And that's getting tighter and tighter. Scott Holtzman tighter has never been finished as a pro. And tighter and tighter. He's got to get the legs off, and then he can move to his back. Holtzman can roll to his back if he gets the legs off of him, but he's got to push those legs down. There it is, and now, there, now he's out. Arizona crowd responds as Scott Holtzman gets back to his feet. Seems to be bleeding pretty good, at least one of these guys is. Maybe it's Lentz. Well, good job, Holtzman, to tough out that choke and just deal with the problem. It's hard when you're getting strangled to not grab the hands, but the problem was the legs. That choke was deep enough to really hurt, but not deep enough to stop you. And that's the thing, you gotta adjust it because it's a blood choke. So you might just, lights might just go out when you're not expecting it. What are you trying to do defensively here if you're Holtzman? You know, Holtzman, he just needs to not give up the back. That trip of, of Lentz is really causing him problems. And it's because he's committing too hard to the wizard, which is that overhook that he has. And now this is what Lentz wants. Just keep the strong, strong man on his back. This is exactly how Lentz has the path of least resistance to a win. And that was a beautiful sweep by Holtzman. And that was, I mean, that was just nice technique there by Holtzman to get to his feet. Nick Lentz, one of the more prolific takedown artists in UFC history, already 11 attempts unofficially. He's landed five of them. 10 minutes in the can, the last five are yours next. Hey, you're doing great, buddy. Nice and relaxed, hey. Five more minutes. Let's control the first 30 seconds of chaos. This guy's steaming out. Look at him. Hey, look at him. The muscle head's tired. All your experiences come to pictures now. Hey, give me a good five minutes of these 50 fights you have. You got it in you, buddy, huh? You hit him with everything Beautiful. when you keep your distance. You need to keep that distance, you hear me? When he gets against the fence, he's going to charge and lock his hands together. I need you to go. Don't stay against that fence, you hear me? Sure. Hey, this is it right here. Possibly down two. I need you to move your feet and pepper him up. He almost went down twice in that round. Give him that water. We're down two. Let's go get this, Scott Holtzman. Angle, speed, volume. Angle, speed. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. And we now call on the coach, Trevor Whitman. John Crouch believes his fighter is down 2-0. Trevor, your thoughts? Misty, 
that honesty is key. Uh, John Crouch did another great job in the corner, letting him know where his fighter was, and he added motivation to do it. you got to get behind the spirit of a fighter and get that momentum for him to go out there and get a finish. And I feel like that's key corner work to do tonight. And, of course, on the other side, the great Tommy Barzini saying to Nick Lentz, the muscle head is tired. <laughs> yeah, and hard know. to blame him. He's had to thwart 12 takedown attempts. Six have landed thus far unofficially for Lentz. What I like about Lentz is he's going into positions to not let Holtzman be strong, and that's getting behind him on the fence, getting underneath both arms and getting behind the back of Holtzman. But right here, that right hand of Holtzman's been landing, guys, and, and that's that's a real threat. Lentz needs to deal with that by getting him on his back ASAP. Beautiful big right counter. Hook, big right hook lands, but both these guys are digging deep. This is the hard round for both of them. Can go to either one. I'd say Lentz is ahead on scorecards, but he looks a little bit more tired right now than Holtzman, to be honest. Level change from Lentz, nothing doing. A minute gone by here in our third and final round. Holtzman pretty much, I think, has to finish this fight if he's going to win, or he has to have a good 10-8 round here. And uh, Lentz is looking like, you know, he's looking to counter and land the big shots, as we saw there. He's waiting for one and then countering well. Some pretty timely head movement from a fatigued Nick Lentz. Beautiful combination. He's been landing that. Holtzman eats it, makes it act like it's nothing, but that was a nice three, four punch combo ending with the kick. Oh, oh. heavy left hand. Lentz seemed to eat that left hand without much issue, but the power shots are raining down now from Scott Holtzman. I mean, Holtzman almost forces a hockey match here. You see, they look like they're on skates in there right now, facing each other, and they're just brawling it out. I mean, Holtzman likes to stay at that range. This is where Nick Lentz needs to be. See, this is where he's won the fight. You get behind the back, you push him against the fence, and you keep the strong man from being strong. All right, let's go into the blue corner of Nick Lentz. Beautiful takedown attempt, and I'll tell you this, Nick Lentz is tired, and that's why you're seeing these wrestling takedowns out of him, but he's still winning the technical war here. This is what you do when the guy, I mean, Holtzman's just as tired. Right. So what are you gonna do? Stand here and get punched in the face like Rock'em Sock'em Robots, or are you gonna go the path of least resistance, take this guy down, get behind him, and try to do some damage and grind on him, make him more tired, because trading with Holtzman is not fun. Hanging on him, get him more tired. Lance going to his bread and bread and butter yeah, grappling. Man. Holtzman trying to control his breathing, and he has consistently resisted the urge to grab the fence. This position right here is just where Holtzman lost the fight. I mean, he doesn't have to give this position, but it's because he's so strong. In practice, a lot of times you feel like I'm not giving up a takedown. I'm not. Yeah, but you're you're losing positioning right now, and. You're losing against the clock because he's holding you here and you can't hit him and he can't really hit you. It's just burning the clock. Now, now they've got a competition here. Now Holtzman can do some damage. Now he can counter wrestle. Now he can do some things. But the second Lentz gets behind his arms, the way he's been doing, it's a problem. Huge punches by Holtzman. Lentz is getting more and more tired, guys. He's trying to suck it up at the end of this match. A couple warnings there from Jason Herzog to Holtzman, I believe, for grabbing the fence just as I gave him credit for not doing so. <laughs> oh, these are good ground strikes. A nice elbow here still by Holtzman. They are big strikes. Those hurt. And Lentz is tired. And Lentz is wearing it. Look at the mouse under that left eye of Nick Lentz. Less than a minute now to go. They're both... I mean, this shows the toughness of Lentz here. I mean, he's tired, exhausted, and he's toughing it out, trying to win this on the scorecards. Still firing, never just laying down, and Holtzman, non-stop oh. power. He knows he has to finish this fight, and he's working for it. This could end any second, guys. Big knee. Hard to see the extent to which that flying knee landed, but for Nick Lentz, hanging around in that pocket, not circling away. And look how mad everybody is. But, man, you want to get kneed in the face by Holtzman? No, Absolutely no, no, no. not. This, <laughs> this is technical. This is what Lentz needs to do to try to suck up the win right here. It might not be as fun or as pretty to watch, but he's getting beat up right now if he stays on the outside. Nice by Lentz. Another takedown. He's got a lot of tricks when it comes to his offensive takedown arsenal. Agreed. 
Attempted 17 of them tonight against Scott Holtzman. This position right here is where the fight was won. So Holtzman, after the biggest win of his career, seemed up against it tonight against Nick Lex. The judges' scorecards coming up next as the prelims continue live on ESPN. And as we see here, Lance firing the left hand. He just no load on it, just fires out there. He switches stance in the middle of it. And this right high kick was very clean. He was trying to time it through the whole fight. He only landed one or two of them. But, man, the one-twos of Holtzman just down the middle with the nonstop pressure. Very nice. But the tail was one right here from this little trip. He goes for this trip. If Holtzman defends it, he goes under the arm and takes the back. This guillotine attempt was deep. That took a lot of toughness from Holtzman to stay with the problem, which was the legs. And that right high kick lands here and there. But as we see here, man, big punches landed on the takedown attempts. These guys beat each other down. Holtzman pretty efficient on the feet, attacked the body well, but Lentz's wrestling was on point. It looks as though the judges' scorecards have been rendered. Now inside the Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 29 28 for the winner by unanimous decision, Nick the Cardi Rams. All right, I'm here with Nick the Carney Lentz. Congratulations, your 14th UFC win. You leaned on the takedown. It was there for you seven times tonight. Overall assessment of this fight and your performance. You know, he's definitely a top 10 guy, maybe even top five. Guy's a monster. Great win for me. Even though these people are booing me because this is hometown or whatever. I still love you guys. Was this the strategy you were hoping to employ tonight to, to have your wrestling dictate the way this fight was contested? No, I won the striking in the first round, and he was just really strong, really slippery, and he got, he got me with some good shots, but I'm very happy with my performance. Another huge win at 155 pounds. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, how about some love? Nick the Carney Lentz. That's a big win for Lentz, man. I mean, he's been out for a little while, and he's come back right into the swing of things, moved himself right up to the top of the division with an extremely, miserably hard fight. Showed his toughness, showed his technique, and showed he's still here to stay. 